pleasure to welcome Kurt Carlson. He is the CEO of SRI International. He also is on the advisory board of the Singapore government. He is on the advisory board of Obama administration's R&D and has written a great book. Welcome. Um, SRI does great work. Uh, a lot of it comes out into entrepreneurship. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, wanted you to a little bit, you know, focus on SRI and its role and how it has helped, especially the Valley. Well, SRI is a is a research organization that uh, focuses on innovation. So, everything we do at SRI is about innovation. Innovation is when you develop products and services that people want and you get them into the marketplace when people use them. So it's not an innovation until it creates value in the marketplace. We certainly have created a lot of value from the computer mouse, windows, hypertext, electronic banking, high definition television. Um, you'd be hard pressed to go a day without touching something from SRI. And um, being in the valley, of course, helps that enormously. Um, and we get to meet interesting, valuable people all the time. Um, and we, inside of SRI, we, we focus on the process of innovation, too. We, we teach all of our people what it means to be an innovator, what it means to be an entrepreneur. It's very much part of our culture, and it's, uh, it continuously leads to us being able to participate in, in major new innovations. You know, one of the great achievements of institutes like yours and the University of Stanford is that the research is then productized in a very successful way, which is lacking in many universities across the world. And they try to emulate this model. And they consistently try, but they're not come up to the market. Where do you think they need to improve? It's very hard for a university by itself to systematically create um, innovations. Um, here in Silicon Valley, obviously Stanford, UCSF, and uh, Berkeley are three of the top ten universities in the world. But they're also surrounded by institutions like us and by the venture community, which drag those innovations out of the universities. Um, most regions need other institutions to help bring the, the innovations out. Universities focus on research and teaching. It's not their job to be promoting everyone to be uh, and teaching them how to be entrepreneurs. Um, that really has to come, I think, with partnerships uh, with others. So, um, for example, um, many places we and others help incubate ideas out of universities. So we bring the right people together, we incubate the ideas, um, we hire the CEOs and, and do all the things that are necessary to create a great companies. You know, another unique um, thing about Silicon Valley is this entrepreneurial ecosystem, yes. uh, which many countries, again, have tried to emulate, partly successful. Uh, where do you think Silicon Valley is, is so unique that other... It's not about geography. It's about the mindset. So where do you think it is so unique that, uh, you know, you really can't import this as a package 100%? Well, you can't package it 100% and transport it, and every country is different. But many of the fundamental ingredients can be developed um, if a region or a country wants to do that. We, we have a group that actually helps do economic development around the world, and, and we have two rules for success. One is to put together a plan that includes all the elements that you need, great universities, great research, international clusters. The formula is fairly well known. Yes, it takes time to change the culture and, and mindset, but you can form little regions where you can begin to chip away at that. And so once you put together the plan, then implement it. So it's amazing how few regions do have thoughtful plans, and then even more infrequently how few implement it. And we found, um, for example, San Diego in the United States was not a big force in biotech uh, 20 years ago. Um, and now they're one of the top regions in the world because they did thoughtfully put all the pieces together. Singapore is doing a great job. Um, they had no biotech industry either um, 20 years ago, and piece by piece they've been putting all the pieces together, so now they're one of the top places in the world where people go um, to do joint research and to look for major innovations. I have one other question, and I must ask you this, since you come from research background, is it's not all about academics. So countries like Singapore, whose academic standards are much higher than the U.S., and a lot of other countries whose academic standards are much higher than the United States, but they've not all succeeded really well in entrepreneurship. Right. So uh, 
I just want you to be to describe what the distinguishing factor, if you may, which is you know academic versus you know the the other culture that is required to promote art. Well, again, yes, um, a- academic organizations by themselves don't necessarily lead to innovations. And as you point out, um, there are many places around the world where. Uh, particularly K through 12 education is higher than the United States. Singapore does a superb job. Finland does a superb job. But generally, there's one or two pieces of the innovation ecosystem that's missing, um, and they have to be thoughtfully identified and then put in place. The hard part is culture. You know, the thing about Silicon Valley, which um, you've been here, you know, is that if you come from a different country, there's no disadvantage here. In fact, it makes you more interesting, right? It, um, and because we have people from around the world who've come here, they have this entrepreneurial mindset. That's why they came here. And when they come here, they they see the culture of Silicon Valley, which is to think big. So not million-dollar companies, billion-dollar companies. And then they start thinking immediately about, how do I take this home? How do I take this company and form a similar sister company in my home country? So it all comes together in a really good way of thinking big, the right cultural values, the diversity of the ecosystem here. Again, these are all things that other countries can do, and many are now around the world, but it has to be done thoughtfully. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. Great to be with you. Thank you.